hey what's going on guys welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to create this simple paint reveal animation inside hit film express so uh, let's get started open up your hit film express so as you can see i've already loaded this brush stroke inside hit film i'll provide the link in the description you can just download this and load it up inside hit film or you can just create your own using GIMP or Photoshop. So make sure that it's PNG image and it's transparent. So let's create a new composite shot. I'm going to start off by creating a plane layer. I'm going to call this PG. So this will be our background. Choose any color that you like. Click on OK. Now the next step is to create a text. So let's create a new text layer and just type in your text. I'm going to type in paint reveal. Select your text and just align it to the center now we can just drag in our brush stroke and put it under our text layer so once you have that set up then we can create or we can just drag in this background layer and call this circle and we can apply a fill color on this and change its color so let's just maybe make it red click on ok then we have to select the ellipse mask tool and just create a shape like a circle shape hold the shift key and the alt key on your keyboard and create a perfectly circle shape then we just select the selection tool hold the shift key on the keyboard and just bring this crosshair just right over here spring it to the center like that and we can just move it and put it right over here okay so this is our first shape now i just want to create a simple scale animation on this so let's just to open the transform and create a scale keyframe set this to zero at the first frame and move 20 frames forward and set this to 100 and select these two keyframes and convert the keyframes to manual bezier right so we have this simple animation then uh, what we can do is as you can see our shape has really smooth edges so i want to change that i want to apply the heat distortion effect on this to change the look of these edges so let's expand the heat distortion and uh, turn down the diffusion strength to zero and diffusion bias to zero as well. Then under animation, we don't want any animation. So let's just set that as zero and noise speed to zero as well. Then what we want to do is we just have to duplicate this layer. Control D to duplicate it and we can just move it right over there. We can just uh, move this layer forward about maybe three or four frames forward and uh, again duplicate this and we can just change its position like that and we can also go inside this layer go inside mask shape and we'll double click on the second keyframe and we can also change its scale just to randomize this and just have to keep on duplicating it and randomizing it and just uh fill it in until our text and this brush image uh, it gets uh, disappeared under this under these all these shapes so i'm going to probably fast forward this part uh, it's going to take some time so let's just uh, resume when we are done with this Alright, so once you have something similar, uh, well then we can just select all these circle layers and we can right click on it and click on make composite chart and we can call this mask, right? So let's go back to our paint reveal comp. Uh, we can hide the mask composite chart and let's just also hide the brush stroke for now. And on the new text layer, we'll apply the set matte effect on it. After you apply it, then set the source layer to mask, set the blend to subtract, and also click on the invert option. So now our text will be revealed by that mask composite shot. If you want to make changes to it, you can go inside the mask and just make make any changes that you want to make, and it will be updated in this comp as well. Uh, now, if we enable the brush stroke, we can have the similar kind of reveal animation on it as well so let's just duplicate the mask composite shot and put it on top of our brush stroke image so let's apply the set matte on the brush stroke now 
to expand the set mat set the source layer to mask to set the blend to subtract and also click on the invert option so now we can just select these two layers the mask to and the brush stroke we can then just move these forward a bit maybe by about four or five frames uh, just to create a different animation just to have add some randomness in this animation right so now our text is going to reveal and then our then our brush image if you want to do the opposite then you can just select the text and the composite shot the mask comp and just move these two layers forward and now our brush will reveal and then followed by our text all right so uh now what we can do is we can just select these two layers the mask and the text and we can duplicate it and we can just move these forward by about four or five frames and we can apply any color to this so let's just apply the fill color on the text layer and we can change its plan amount to 100 and just pick any color from this window and also make sure that your set mat is set to mask 3 you can see that our new text on top of it is mask 3 so just make sure that mask 3 is uh, selected as the source layer and then you will be able to see your text and now you can see that we have this first text with white color and then it's followed by the purple color right over here and we can even duplicate it one more time so let's just do that Control d to duplicate move it forward expand uh, select the new text 3 expand the effects we can change the fill color to any other color that we want so let's just uh, select this one click on ok and also set the source layer to mask 4 which is on top of this text right over here so now it's gonna do something like that okay that is looking nice and we can do the same thing we can apply uh, multiple colors on our brush uh, stroke as well so we can easily do that so let's just um, apply the fill color on the brush stroke and i'm gonna set the blend to 100 percent let's just pick the same color as the background and let's just make it a bit more darker like that so there is our brush stroke and now let's just uh, select these two layers the mask and the brush Control D to duplicate, move it forward uh, for our five frames. Select your brush stroke, the second one, the duplicate copy. Select the fill color and we can change it to any other color. So let's say maybe this one. Click on OK. Set, select the set mat, set the source layer to mask five. Uh, because this brush stroke, you can see on top of it is mask five. So we select that source layer and then we'll be able to see our color properly I can just repeat this process as many times as you want so then all you have to do is just render out this composition and uh, that's it so let's just pre-render this and see how it looks all right so as you can see that it looks uh, really nice so yeah so uh, that's about it that's how we can create this paint reveal animation inside hit film if you have any questions do let me know in the comments below other than that if this video is helpful don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel i'll see you guys in the next one